January 2009, Florida Gators against North Carolina State. Man, when I had hair. This one, this is in the good old days when uh, I could spike my hair up. That was your first bu big buzzer beater? First big buzzer beater for sure of my, um, of a big game like this. It was, uh, and I think I had 30 something points. So it was one of my best games I think of my college career. But uh, it was a, uh, it was very good, amazing game, um, going back and forth, and uh, and I hit a big shot to win it, big floater. Did, did you felt the pressure in uh, the Gators to perform because it was a championship winning team? Yes, uh, definitely, because when I came there, they were coming off a back-to-back -back national championship, yes. so, you know, we had a big expectation, um, and, you know, coming in being the biggest recruit, it was, uh, it was a lot of pressure on me, for sure. 2011, Panathinaikos, Coast, Barcelona, playoffs, game yes. four. Uh, probably one of the biggest games in my career, uh, this game. Um, Obradovic, the series, uh, before the series started, Obradovic came to me and um, I didn't play so much um, during the season, but he started me um, for the first game of the series to Garden Navarro and um, I played well. And uh, for him to start me, um, for me, I was uh, I was surprised, but in my mind, I was ready because I was itching to play, itching to to help the team. And um, that game was probably the most fans I've ever seen in a walker. Uh, because in game four, we beat them game two um, at their place, and it was a to go to the final four. So uh, that was one of the one of the very exciting moments. Uh, in the finals uh, against Maccabi, we, our team this season, I think after we beat Barcelona, we knew we were going to come in and uh, win EuroLeague. We were a very confident team. Um, we were playing the best basketball at the right time. Uh, and um, we knew we could beat every team in the Final Four. Guys hit big shots, you know. I think Dean Matidis came uh, very big for us in the, in the championship game, faulty. Uh, I remember Drew Nicholas was hurt, his ankle, and he made huge plays. So, um, you know, for us that year, um, no one expected us to be at the top because uh, I think we lost Benoulis, uh, we lost a couple players, and, um, you know, we had that, that right time, playing right good, uh, playing good at the right moment, and uh, coach got us ready, and, uh, and we took home early. Do you agree that the real final for, for, for Panathinaikos was the playoff series against Barcelona? Uh, I believe so because they were considered, I think they might have been the number one seed yes. uh, at that time. And, um, and the final four course. Yes, exactly. If they made if it. If they made it, uh, for sure. So uh, that was definitely the, um, the key, I think, is to win that championship was to beat them. And I believe in game two, we were down uh, 16 points and came back uh, in Barcelona and, uh, and beat them. So once they came to Waka, it was, uh, it was over. Let's go to your next stop, Russia. Yes. I, I think you remember the game. <laughs> it was a game to remember. Yes. Um, the Euro Cup uh, championship uh, against Bobao. Um, you know, for us, uh, we, had the best, we had the best team all year. Um, you know, me, Derek Brown, uh, Hendricks, Jimmy Barron, Kalanietis. Uh, for a Euro Cup team, uh, they put a lot of money into this club, into the team, and you know, playing for Locomotive, it was a, a very exciting year, and for them to be on top, it was the first time in history of uh, Locomotive, I believe, winning a Euro Cup championship, and to be able to get to EuroLeague. So, um, you know, we took a lot of pride in, in you know, playing every day for uh, Locomotive, and, and you know we did a uh, we did history there, um, and I think we made them known in the European uh, basketball community. Career high in the NBA, 22 points, Grizzlies versus the Bucks. Ah yes, I remember uh, saying hello to Giannis before the game. Uh, this game, uh, I think I started this game too because um, Mike Conley was injured. It was my first career NBA start, I believe, and. Um, you know, I was feeling good. I came, uh, I think I hit four or five threes. Um, you know, my hair is going at that point. Uh, 
so all the guys used to make fun of me with the hair and uh, my teammates. But um, you know, it was a big game to, to start um, to start me getting a rhythm in the NBA. And uh, like I said, it was when Mike Conley got hurt, so I played a lot of minutes and I was able to help the team uh, get the win. What do you think is the perception that there is in the NBA for you? Um, what do you mean, like? Uh, How do, you, do they rate you as a player? Um, you know, I think they rate me okay. I think they rate me good, um, especially being a backup point guard. Um, I believe I helped Memphis. I believe I helped the team. I, I played great uh, with Mike Conley when we played together. And, um, you know, when I got minutes uh, in the middle of the year, um, I thought I did well, you know, so. But it was easy to play with uh, Marcus Gasol, uh, Zach Randolph, um, had a lot of veterans on that team, Mike Miller, Tayshaun Prince, so for me it was e easy to fit in. The career high against Bruce Barber this year, this 31 year, points. Uh, I was feeling good. Um, You know, once you get in a rhythm on the court, it was uh, everything was going in. Um, my shot was falling. I was shooting floaters. I think if I could have shot a half court shot, I think it would have went into that game. But um, you know, it was a it was a great game for me. But it was a bad loss for the team. Um, I, the team wasn't uh, wasn't playing as good as we should have been. Uh, but you know, for me. Uh, it was one of those games where you're feeling good and you just couldn't miss. Do you feel a little bit strange because you came that close, one rebound close to a triple-double decision and you didn't register it? Um, and it was not just in one game, yes. in many games you had the opportunity. It was uh, many games that I, I could have done it um, and I believe I, I believe I was going to get it. In my mind, I for sure was like, oh, I'm going to get it. I have 30 games or 28 games, I'll be able to get it. Uh, But, you know, I was close a lot of times and just never got it. So, yeah, it happens. This is, uh, this is basketball. Let's go now to the playoffs. And uh, your assist guy, 16 assists. Si 16 real assists, as, <laughs> as we used to say, because mm -hmm. the way that assists are counted in the yes. NBA, it's like uh, there is an inflation rate. Yes. Um, you know, for me, it was uh, just finding my teammates. They were making shots. I feel like all year um, it was very easy to to get assists because my teammates were, were so good at, at making shots and being at the right place at the right time. Uh, me and James Gist have a, a very good bond on the pick and roll alley oop. Um, you know, transition wise, we got a lot of easy layups and uh, we have a lot of shooters and Lajeski, Rivers, um, Denman, Papas. So we, for me, it's, uh, it's easy for, for me to be able to find my teammates because they're so good at what they do. So it makes it easy for my job. And it's also a matter of timing. Are you jealous a little bit of the NBA guys who get assist, credited for assists just for passing the ball on yeah, the side? It's different. You know, it's different uh, how they count assists here in the NBA. But no, I'm not jealous. Uh, you know, for me, it's, uh, I just try to help my team uh, Get easy shots, and you know if they make it, if they make it, it's my assist. If not, you know, you know, just being able to get uh, easier shots from my teammates. Do you feel that uh, with those games, uh, you also turn the page as a club? You left behind the era of Bradovic and Diamantidis, and you finally proved that uh, Panathinaikos is once again a real contender. Um, at, uh, home, with the finals. With the finals, the Greek. Yes. Uh, you know, for us, we wanted to come in and um, and to show what kind of team we were. Uh, we won the cup that the year last year, and we didn't do well in the, uh, the playoffs, so we got swept. So, for us, we wanted to leave a statement at the end of the season, and uh, we knew we'd have to beat a good team in Olympiacos, who you know went to the final four, um, and we'd have to beat them on their home court. So, for us. It was a big step forward, and uh, we were confident and, um, and able to be able to do that. And it was great for the fans and, and the, the community, and uh, it was a big celebration. It's uh, 2009. Greece is playing against Slovenia, and you got uh, a bronze medal. Yes. It was big, despite yeah. being bronze. Yes. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of uh, 
a lot of people expected us to medal that year. Um, I believe we didn't have Dean Matides. We had a lot of young guys, and uh, we just played good at the right time. Spinulis hit big shot after big shot. Um, I think in the we played Turkey in the knockout game, if I remember. Uh, I think he had like 30 something points and led us to led us to the Final Four. So. It was, a, it was a great moment for me, uh, for the national team. It was my first year uh, being on the national team. So, you know, I was like, man, this is, uh, this is uh, magical. You know, all the fans came uh, to cheer us on. And um, after that moment, I was like, eh, I'll play this every summer. You know, this is going to be a, a thing that I will do uh, every year is if I'm capable of being able to do it. And, um, and it was just a, a great moment for us. your career high with the national team, Greece versus Russia, 25 points. You know, I, it, was a, it was a big game because it was to get us to the Final Four. Um, and we just beat Lithuania. Um, you know, we had them down the whole game. Had them down 10, 12, 14, I believe. And, uh, you know, they made a run. They made a run in the uh, third quarter, I believe. Made big shots. Uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't make shots at that moment. It was just a, a tough loss for us because we knew and we thought we were capable of getting a medal this year. And, you know, if you look back, it, it's just it's disappointing a little bit uh, because we had a good enough team to do it. And, you know, hopefully, the fall, not this summer, but the following summer, that we can, uh, we can medal and do something special. What we can expect from you and the national team in the World Cup? Uh, like I said, if all the guys play, um, we have the capability of, of doing something special. You know, we have the team, we have uh, one of the best players in the world in Giannis, and we have a lot of European, great European players, and, uh, you know, NBA players like Papa Giannis, Kufus, and um, we have the capability. That's, that's never been an issue. Um, we just got to click and uh, play good at the right time, and uh, I think we'll be able to do that, especially with the the generation that have played coming up and, you know, the national team, we, we're used to it and we know uh, what to expect.